Hi everyone. Okay, I'm doing a live video on Facebook Live at the same time here. So I'm going, I'm starting you guys first. You guys are my challengers. Um, and here I go. Okay. Hi Facebook. Hi friends. Hi challengers. So I've got two cameras going here. Um, so if you see me squirreling around, it's just that I have real like squirrely attention issues. Anyways, um, thanks for joining me. I'm Coach Danielle. Okay, so I'm going to tell you quick, 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 quick. And we're going to get to the good stuff about me. If you don't know me, um, I'm making this video because I run private online challenge groups. This is how, after 30 years of being overweight, smoking a pack a day, being a junk food addict, being a diet um, cola addict, which is worse than regular pop, um, how my husband and I lost 150 pounds and changed our lifestyle completely and have kept the weight off going on 10 years now, okay? So it works. Trust me, I tried everything, okay? I had 30 years to try everything. Anyways, um, I run these awesome online accountability groups. And so what I do is I take questions from my challengers. Um, they're in a private app. I'm in there two, three times a day with them. But on Fridays, I like to answer all their questions in a video. And there, it's recording on the other side here so that I can post it in that private app group. But I wanted to share with you guys on Facebook and see if you guys had any questions. Um, so please post, post below if you have any questions and I'll try to get to them. So I'm just going to start right off, okay? So a lot of these questions are coming from newer challengers. I have four groups. One is filled with 30 new challengers. You're a rock as a coach. I love you. You rock as an amazing friend and coach, Glenda. You're an inspiration to me. I love you. Thanks for getting on. Um, so this is... Um, um, a lot of the questions came from my brand new group. I have 32, I think, um, new challengers in there. Oh, amazing. They're doing all different programs because we find the program that works for you. doesn't matter if it's the most popular program or if it's a program on sale. If you don't like it and you're not going to do it, it's not going to be fun and you're not going to stick with it. And this is for your life. It's like you don't just get up and use the bathroom every one morning. You do that every morning. You eat every day. You sleep every day. This is a part of living a human life, right? So you need to find, find something to do that you love that you will do every day, okay? So anyways, question. A lot of the questions come from people about food prep because let me tell you, first of all, doesn't matter. Thanks for the love. Thank you. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter if you kill it two hours in a workout. It does not matter how intense you go. If you do not follow up with proper nutrition... And if you don't eat enough, it's just as much as eating too much. And stick within your macro nutri nutri nutrition, okay, which is what we do with our container system. So it takes all the guesswork. I'm too busy. I cannot count macros, carbs, fats. And I know how to. I've studied it. And I still don't want to do it, okay? So the container system, boom, 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 easy. It lets you know what proportions of tons of amazing food. The food is amazing. Okay. So if you do not stick to that nutrition, nutrition is 80% of any results you're going to get no matter what. So it doesn't matter what you're doing for fitness, you're going to be plateaued or stalled or wondering why you're not getting those results. Okay. So first of all, that's why so many people ask me about what do you do when you travel? I'm on the road. You're going for a weekend getaway. You're going for the day. Um, with your family, you are going on a holiday. What do you do? Okay, so this is the biggest, biggest question. So if you're going for a holiday, okay, so like I know one of my new challengers, Jill, the lover, she's going for a 20th, okay, it's her 20th anniversary. Okay, she's going on a golfing retreat with a couple of other couples. Okay, that week doesn't count. I mean, it doesn't mean you have to blow. She's going to be super active. She's bringing her Shakeology and everything else. But you know what? In a situation like that, that's vacation. It's called balance. Life is short. Drink your wine, okay? But we're talking about you go away every second weekend with the kids or you've got a day trip or, you know, it's not like the, that big one week a year or two weeks a year where you take that really well-earned vacation or you're celebrating a huge milestone. That's different. I'm talking about when this happens more often. You've got to be balanced 
but you have to stick to your goals or you're going to blow all the results. I talk about Monday to Friday rock stars. I'm a Monday to Friday rock star. And, and then I try to tell my challengers about working, a, being a weekend warrior because we can easily in one day blow five days of hard work out of the water without even thinking about it. I'm sorry. It's not fair. Life is not fair, but it's truth. Hashtag truth. Okay. So when you're on the road, when you're traveling with your kids, you're going on a road trip with your girlfriends, you need to pack snacks. This is what I do. Listen, every meal in your life doesn't have to be a gourmet meal. Every meal in your life doesn't have to be the best tasting thing that's ever touched your lips. It's come on. It's fuel for your body. You have got to switch it. And this is a food addict talking, okay? I would wrestle a nun to the ground for a superstore pound cake with buttercream icing. Okay, so you need to know I love food, but you can't enjoy, or sorry, you can enjoy, but you can't have it like decadent gourmet everything you put into your mouth, right? It's, it's totally about balance. Absolutely, Glenda. Thanks for your love. Okay, so what I do is I boil a ton of eggs. Okay, peel them, wash them, put them in baggies. I cut up can, I cut up cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, wash them up, put them in baggies. I take my Shakeology with me. I pack water. Um, I have coffee on the go. Um, what else do I do? I pack. I made a great video on here yesterday um, on my fitness page about a big Tupperware container full of kale. Um, I had the dressing in there. I just for dressing, all I did was put my blue container of hummus and ha squeezed half of a um, lemon in there. It was delicious. Sometimes I'll throw a, a, a can of tuna in there or I'll cut up some chicken, you know, get yourself a little thermal bag. I have a little 21 day fix thermal bag, pack it, pack snacks, you know, nuts in, in uh, little containers that are pre-portioned. Um, because you know, if you're hungry, you go for the nuts, all of a sudden you've got a week worth, worth of nuts into your system. And you know, you're wondering why you're not getting the results you're, you're wanting. Right. Um, and if you have to eat in a restaurant, even the best choice in a restaurant, there's hidden fats in there. Okay. So there's tons of, so you want to go with vegetables, steamed vegetables, uh, salad with dressing on the side, pick the fish, pick the grilled chicken. Okay. Um, go for the water, skip the bread bowl. Okay. So these are things that I, that really, really help me when I'm traveling. Okay. Really, really help me with I'm traveling. Um, another one, somebody wanted to know, okay, when they're in plank, oh my goodness, this one is um, from Charlene. And it really, really, um, she has sore wrists when she's in plank or doing push-ups or anything like that. Okay. So I have these puny little wrists and I'm a very well statured girl. Okay. Yes. I'm in good shape. Yes. I'm in my, you know, healthy, um, uh, weight range and everything. I'm a size large, if not extra large, I'm a strapping lady. Okay. Um, but I have these teeny little wrists and teeny little ankles and teeny little hands and feet. I don't know. And teeny little boobs. Sorry about that. Anyways, but okay. So I feel this as well, Charlene. Now, Glenda, um, who's actually on the call right now, she actually said to Charlene, why don't you try off your knuckles? Okay. And so Charlene's, Charlene's going to try that today. And that is a great and total proper way, um, off your knuckles. However, my knuckles are, I don't know if you can see them. I can't even make a fist. My husband laughs at me because my hands are so puny. Okay. So what I do and my husband does as well, we just went to Walmart Ch champion or Everlast. I think they were $8 and their wrist supports. Okay. And they really help their Velcro. You put them on, they strap a little elastic around here. Um, they're black and they're amazing wrist support. So anytime I feel that pressure, um, the, the idea is just to do what you want. It's okay to feel discomfort, but not pain. Okay. So either go up on your knuckles, add the wrist supports. The bottom line is when you're feeling these things in your body, your body's going to get stronger. Sorry. Sorry for people who are looking at this camera. I seem to be looking at the bottom camera. Your body's going to get stronger. So know that. So push yourself without pain. There's discomfort and there's pain. So know the difference. 
Okay. Um, and you will get stronger. Your wrists will get stronger as you go along. Okay. Also adjusting sometimes because sometimes we're putting too much pressure. So try to tip back onto your toes a little bit more um, and stick your heels out um, in those situations and shift your weight back into your lower body because you might be tilting too much forward. Your pelvis, your butt might be up in the air a little bit, which may be shifting too much weight forward. Um, and sometimes just go down. If it's plank, just go down onto forearm plank as well. Okay. Can't do that with push-ups, but with a plank you can. Okay. Okay. Somebody was talking about stomach pains and coming off of the long weekend. So I want to talk about this too. Um, you know, our bodies are an amazing thing. Our bodies are meant to naturally detox. That's what our body is designed to do. God designed our bodies to detox and work like an amazing machine. The brain alone blows my mind. Okay. So what um, happens is our bodies, when we're eating improperly, drinking, you know, having long weekends, you know, finding that balance, it happens to all of us, happens to me all the time, um, is that it kind of gets debunked, okay? So think of your body as a car, okay? So you've got, like, something's not working. Something is in one of those hoses. I don't know anything about cars. I apologize for people who do. You know, there's a clog somewhere, okay? And so once you start putting, taking it into the shop, you're like, I'm back on track. I'm going to drink my Shakeology, which is amazing for your body, nutrition-wise. It's not a protein shake, so please don't call it a protein shake. It's a super food-dense shot of nutrition every day, okay? 70 superfoods plus. Anyway, so you're all of a sudden putting that into your body after not doing so well with food and you're exercising. So now your body's really revving. It's working at its prime because you're exercising. You're filling it with water. So it's being flushed through. You've just taken it through Jiffy Lube because you've got water, you've got Shakeology, you've got your supplements, you've got your um, uh, workout. And so everything's now working well. So all of that gunk, it has to come out and it does come out. And sometimes you get, you feel bloated at first because your body is in shock and it's trying to push everything out. Trust me, it won't push it out. And in in, if you're doing it right and you're not on some sort of crazy cleanse or whatever, you're, it's not like you're going to be running to the bathroom. Your body's just naturally going to sweat it out. Your, your, even your pee, okay, it's detoxing. Um, and all of that will come out. So it's normal to kind of feel oh, some pain, some discomfort. Um, my best suggestion, if you are coming off a bit of a, a vacation or a long weekend where you've had some drinks and some sugar and some, you know, fatty foods or processed foods and you're feeling that way, just keep going. Drink more water um, and go for a nice walk because there's nothing better for your body than just your body was meant to move. It was meant to walk and uh, it, that will really help. And it too, this, this too will pass and you'll feel like a rock star on the other side of it. Okay. So I hope this answered some of your guys' questions today. Thanks for joining me on Facebook. Thanks to all my awesome challengers. Um, I'm going to put this video up on YouTube for you guys and post it in the group. Um, and I love your Friday questions. Um, so thanks for asking me. Um, you know, I love to answer questions because I'm telling you, if I don't know the answer, I'll find the answer for you. But a lot of times, oh, thanks for the love guys. Um, but a lot of times, you know, I have been, a lot of times people look at me and they say, oh, she's in shape and da, 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 da. And her kids are grown. And I, you know, she might not know what I'm going through. And I'm here to tell you, I know. I was overweight my whole life. I was not, I, I don't want to be like I was in high school. I was unhappy, overweight, and super self-conscious, okay? Um, I've worked on myself. I only started in my 30s when Zachary was young, and I was working 12-hour days, and I was running him to karate, and we were a busy, active, involved family. Um, so I know the struggles, um, and I... And I wasn't an overnight success with my, um, it took me, oh, someone's calling. It took me um, about really seven years um, through ups and downs of my struggles and health issues um, to finally find that balance um, mentally, spiritually, and physically. Okay, so 
whatever your struggles are, if there's any way I can help you, if you have any questions, um, I run free groups. I have a free yoga group going right now. Um, you know, I have challenges that start every month with my one-on-one, -on -one, um, private online, um, coaching. So please reach out to me. Um, if you have any questions, tell me about your struggles. Tell me about your successes. Have you had some successes in your health and fitness? I want to know about it. Um, I want to celebrate with you because life is all about celebrating my friends. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for watching. Have a happy Friday.